Kaya Wanju, hello and welcome. I want to acknowledge the traditional owners on whose land you are at the moment. It's important we acknowledge country, it's important we acknowledge our elders, past and present. But I also want to acknowledge all of you because the whole journey of second chance education is an important step that we sometimes don't take until we reflect on our lives and decide that where we dropped out of school and decided to re-engage with education, it has two impacts. One is not only do you gain from your second chance education, but other family members see you doing it. And over the years, given my age, I have seen the influence of mothers in particular who have gone back, or aunties who've gone back to second chance education and the next minute their children are enrolling at the same institution. So the outcome is tremendous. Education is powerful. I always remember the words of Nelson Mandela who talked about education as the engine for change and reform and allows the daughter of a worker to become a doctor. It allows the son of a mine worker to go on and achieve managerial roles. This is an important project designed to establish learning and earning pathways for Indigenous women by providing a second chance of education. I've seen the impact of education and I've seen the opportunities that it brings. But second, second chance education for starters, an, education, an educated woman is likely to invest her earnings back into her family. She's also better positioned to help educate her own children. And as I indicated earlier, I have seen this many, many times. One of the most telling comments I ever saw was when we were involved with the WA Aboriginal Health Survey, in which we had a stark statement in one of the education reports. It said, a girl who left school before the end of year 10 would lead a life of poverty, would have a child much earlier, and would end up in relationships that weren't conducive to that of a happy couple. A girl who graduated beyond year 10, but never finished year 12, tended to make better choices for themselves, tended to reduce harmful behaviours when they were pregnant. But the most important thing was that we followed up on all the girls who exited year 12 and what we found is that they made, strong, they made very strong and effective choices about their life, about job opportunities, about the way in which they cared for family. They often put off raising a family until they had finished their university studies. And where we found that they had left and come back to school, they achieved the same outcome. So second chance education is one of the most critical and vital steps that we as a community should support. Because if we want to change for the future for our children, it can't be done by governments or a program. It is better done by one of our women who chooses a pathway to increase her knowledge to increase her earning capacity, but to create opportunities for a job that will give them satisfaction, but allow them to take a career pathway in which their earning becomes the base for their family. I know that the Second Chance Education Project Model is designed in a way that it works with local Indigenous community controlled organisation. And by doing this, what I hope to see is that many of those Indigenous organisations employ you if you're doing study through them. What I want to see too is that your influence on your children will help us close the gap in many facets of our lives. And so I congratulate anybody who is contemplating and has started the journey of a second chance education but to those who are involved in this initiative, I say thank you. And I say thank you on the basis that you are opening a door. And when you open one door, 
many doors will open in the journey that any individual who graduates from your program will have the opportunity to walk to, open it, walk in, and seize an opportunity in their lifetime that will make a difference. And I can say that from practical experience of many of the Aboriginal women who I know through my work in land issues, in education and in health, and in the Aboriginal Affairs portfolio in both New South Wales and WA, they have become the leaders that I now link back to as a minister. Take the opportunity, grasp it, and let me say, once you're in that journey, the people you do the class with become your network that you continue to link with when you leave. I wish you all all the best, and at some point, if I bump into a new, if I bump into you, I want you to tell me that you've done the second chance education, then we'll have a yarn. Take care.